from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here and towing the slab, Carlos Rodon. What's the word on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Okay, all set to go. And the batter is George Springer. The pitch. And that's outside. And we're underway. The pitch. Ground ball to the right that's side. Right and it goes just foul. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there. Rodon ready. Here it comes. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. And Bichette is retired. Two away. That is good. The first baseman. Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero, Guerrero Jr. now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Hard hit left side. LeMahieu oh. gets it to first. And Guerrero is set down. That's out number three. End of a half inning of play. No score. Back here with my pal Siggy. And today's starting pitcher, Kevin Gossman. We know he's one of the best in the game, doesn't make many mistakes, and if he's in a pinch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. And a pitch. That one missed. And a big swing and a miss. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Here's a 1 1. That one out to right, and that is Springer. He makes the grab, and there's one down. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. And takes low for ball one. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. And a swing and a miss. 
Two down. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Juan Soto stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. He goes down looking. Yanks held in check. We played an inning. No score. All set for the start of the inning. Now here is Justin Turner. Justin Turner. As the lefty gets to work. That nope. misses okay. the zone. And that is ball one. Ah. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Ed Drummond behind the plate strike. calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Volpe makes the grab on the run. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Strike one. Rodone, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Fought off foul. All tied up here at the top of the second. Next offering way Two off strike. the plate. Ball. And another Next ball. Down, base is empty. And that one a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. This one lifted in the air, left field. He's got it. Two down. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. That misses. 1 and 0. Oh. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. Swing and a foul straight back. Skips in the dirt. Ball. 
Chases the changeup in the dirt. Wells down to first, and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at Yankee Stadium, bottom of the second. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Giancarlo Stanton. Gosman back to work. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And a pitch. That yep, just that misses. Now one and two. It's a good take. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Bouncer to second. And that one handled. Rizzo out of the play. That is good. The second baseman. Glaber. Here is Glaber Torres. First oh, pitch misses. Right. And another ball. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. That's a strike. And a count two and one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Down on strikes he goes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go the Yankees. We'll move to the third with no score. Out of the third inning. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Number 25. Dalton the lefty fires breaking ball inside ball one swing and a miss as he was late that time I think he was sitting off speed there that one the other way oh he gloves it it's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove but you will get some high fives you know when you make great contact you feel like you've done everything right but in this game of baseball not everything is in your control Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays ground ball up the middle throw on to Rizzo and a couple of quick outs Batting nine, the center fielder, Kevin. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Torres over to first, and the Blue Jays go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. Still no score.
And we're back as we go to the last of the third. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Towards first. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting it. The shortstop. Anthony. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. That clips the corner. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Varsho in position. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. Batting done. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Clicks the corner, and that is strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Righty to the plate. Right through there for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get in the swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Almost got him. Two outs, base is empty. And there's a ball. And down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. So the Yanks go in order. And we're still knotted at zero. Start of the fourth. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, George Springer. Rodone back to work. And fouled off. The 0 1. And there's the strike. And that's downstairs and outside. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a 1 2. And just misses with that one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Out to short. Volpe. Fires across the diamond. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Robichet up to the dish. He's over one. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Liner snagged it first. Well, baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First time up, he grounded to third. And for a strike, and it's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the 2 That one ripped. That's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score.
Back in New York, DJ LeMahieu will get things going. And the right hander back to work. And a strike there to LeMahieu. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. And ball one. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Here is Aaron Judge. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Wouldn't chase that time. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Kicks and fires. Judge over the top. The Yanks still looking for their first hit in this one. And the slider just misses. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Righty delivers. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's 3-2. And the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So a change being made at first base on a pinch run. Jemai Jones. Here's Juan Soto. Caught looking his first time up. Gosman throws over. And he's back safely. Swing and a miss. 1-1. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. With the go-ahead run at first, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. Here goes the runner. Pitch is low. And safe. It's a stolen base. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Man at second. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Way back there. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 2-0. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Sometimes we say it's a sinker that didn't sink. Well, that was a splitter that just didn't split. Kind of like a BP fastball. And when you throw that pitch, don't expect to get it back. You're getting a new baseball from the umpire. Here's Stanton now. That clips the zone. Strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. Right side, hard hit to first, oh. and they take care of Stanton for the out. Fastball groove right down the middle, usually a lot of damage done no, with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get Anthony. that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Rizzo. And here is Anthony Rizzo, 0 for 1 so far. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. 
Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Ripped into right field, base hit. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Two outs, runner at first. Glaber Torres stepping in now for the Yankees. And it's fouled away. Rizzo off of first with two away. In the air out to center. Kiermaier moving under it. Makes the catch. And that's the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Jemai Jones. He'll be patrolling center field. Turner climbs in on that right side. He's over one. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. And a foul ball left side. And he deals. Off the plate, ball one. Falling behind two and one. And you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And a pitch. And a base hit into right. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Here's the third baseman, Kevin Biggio. Right grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's the second baseman. On the ground. And foul ball. So the tying run at second. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Rodon fires. That Whoa, one just yeah. missing inside. And that's ball one. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Next to hit, Dalton Varsho. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Left-hand batter waits. And that one fouled off. With the go-ahead run at the plate. And we're at the top of the fifth. 
And now one and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Not close with that one. The count now two and two. And another ball. Alejandro Kirk waits on deck. Two on, one out. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Rodon sets and deals. And he walked him. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. One down. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. Golden opportunity right here. That's in there. That's strike one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And now the lefty slapped the other way, foul. Got him swinging for the K. Nice job behind the plate there. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's Kiermaier now. Sends it to center, and this should be it. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees get a shutout on the mound. Well, it was a tough day at the plate for the hitters. Only able to scratch out a couple of hits, but some really good pitching, some good defense. You don't expect to win the game when you only put up two hits, but somehow they found a way to get it done. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.